What's up guys, my name is Brandon and it is official. We finally have confirmation of the October event that we've been hearing rumors about for the past several months. So as you can see right here, it's called Unleashed and it takes place on October 18th at 10 a.m. Pacific. So in this video, I wanted to run through what we can expect to see at this event along with an update on iOS 15.1 and macOS Monterey. So first off, yes, October 18th is the day of this Unleashed event and that is on a Monday, which is somewhat Somewhat rare for Apple events since they're usually on Tuesdays, but it will be a pre recorded event and I will also be live streaming the event and my reaction to the event here on the channel. So make sure you stop in and say hi. So anyways, taking a look at the event invite, the actual graphic here, to me, it looks like we're in space and that the interpretation is something along the lines of faster than the speed of light, which of course will be referring to the big headlining announcement at this event, which is the MacBook Pro. So the MacBook Pro is set to be announced at this event, but not just one. We are actually expecting two different MacBook Pros to be unveiled, a 14 inch and a 16 inch model. And I don't know about you guys, but the 14 inch MacBook Pro has been a dream of mine for a long time now because I always thought the 16 inch was too big and the 13 inch was always too small for me. I wanted something in the middle. That's why I liked the 15 inch back in the day, but a 14 inch I am really looking forward to with this new MacBook Pro. Now the overall casing size will remain similar to the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but the increase in display size will be due to a reduction in the bezel. So we should have smaller bezels all around. And as for the display itself, we're hearing that a 120 hertz mini LED display could be coming to both models. So Ross Young just recently said this on Twitter, panel suppliers are the same between the iPad Pros and the MacBook Pros, LG display and sharp expecting similar technology, oxide backplanes, mini LED backlights, and 120 Hertz refresh rates, mini LEDs 100% confirmed. So again, we knew that a mini LED display was coming, but we had not heard that it would be a 120 Hertz refresh rate until now. So that's going to be huge and I cannot wait to see the displays on these MacBook Pros. And as for the rest of the design, Ming-Chi Ko says that the new MacBook Pro models will feature a flat edge design that's similar to the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13 with no curved edges like on the current MacBook models. But meanwhile, Mark Gurman says that they will look similar to current models, but will feature minor design changes. So it seems like it's not going to be a major overhaul in the design. You know, it's not gonna be major flat edges, but we could see slightly flatter edges than we saw before. So don't expect anything too extravagant, but just some minor tweaks to the design. And we can also expect to see a MagSafe magnetic charger, the return of the HDMI port and the SD card slot, and the removal of the controversial touch bar. So I personally liked the touch bar. I was the minority there, but it looks like we are not going to be seeing that touch bar, but we will be seeing the return of the HDMI port and the SD card slot, which is huge. And I think every content creator will be ecstatic about that. We're also expecting to see an upgraded 1080p webcam, which will be a nice step up from the 720p webcam that's included in the current version of the MacBook Pro. So there are a lot of design and display changes for this new MacBook Pro. And while that alone would be a worthy upgrade for some, the performance is what's really going to be the selling point of these new laptops. And that's because we can expect to see a more powerful chip than the M1 which already blew every Intel chip out of the water. So it's looking like it will be named the M1X chip, but we have no confirmation on that just yet. We just know it's going to be insanely fast. So we're talking about a 10 core CPU with eight high performance cores and two energy efficient cores, along with 16 and 32 core GPU configurations. And that is exactly why I think this event invite looks like it's referencing space and the speed of light because these MacBooks will offer absolutely insane performance and I cannot wait to compare it to the M1 MacBook Pro, which we thought was super fast just a little while ago. We're also expecting to see two RAM configurations. So 16 and 32 gigabyte of RAM options, no 64 gigabyte like we had heard rumored before, along with multiple storage options, all the way up to eight terabytes. So if that's true, I really cannot wait to see how expensive a eight terabyte 
MacBook Pro is going to be. And as for the other products we might see at this event, we could also see a new, more powerful Mac Mini with that same M1X chipset inside and also a minor redesign with plexiglass on top. And we might even see the long awaited AirPods 3 at this event, which we think are coming at every event, but hopefully this is the one. And those AirPods 3 are the AirPods that have a similar design to the AirPods Pro, just without the Pro features like noise cancellation and transparency mode. So hopefully we see that. Although me personally, I think that's more likely to come in a press release, but who knows? We could see that at this event because we've been saying that for every event now. So Apple is also working on a smaller Mac Pro, a larger iMac, a new low-end MacBook Pro, and a revamped MacBook Air, according to Bloomberg. However, we are not expecting those at this event. And as far as when we can expect these new Macs to be released, I would expect pre-orders to begin potentially right after the event. So we could see, just like with the M1 Macs, we could expect to see the pre-orders start that same day on the 18th, with a release date coming the week after, right here on the 25th. And as for the pricing, I would expect the pricing to be similar to what it was on the previous generation, at least for the 16 inch model. The 14 inch model could be a little bit more than the base 13 inch MacBook Pro, which is $1299, but we'll have to wait and see. I would not expect to see a major jump in price for either one of them though. So that is everything to expect at this October event. Let me know what you guys are most excited for down there in those comments below. Are you more excited for the MacBook Pros, the 14 or the 16 inch? Which one are you most excited for? And also, do you wanna see the AirPods or the Mac Mini at this event as well. Let me know your thoughts down there in those comments below. Now, I also wanted to talk about iOS 15.1 and macOS Monterey. So first off, iOS 15.1, we should be expecting to see beta 4 tomorrow on Wednesday the 13th, and then the RC the following week and the final the week after on the week of the 25th, which is also the day that the new Macs should be arriving. So we don't have that confirmed yet. We won't know until the 18th but that is also when I would expect to see macOS Monterey. So we should see the final release of macOS Monterey on the week of when the new Macs come out, which should be the week of the 25th right there. So that is my expectation. Of course, things could change. Apple does whatever they want to, and they change it up you know, whenever they want to. So that is my expectation for now. So we should be seeing a new 15.1 beta very soon. And we could even see another macOS Monterey beta before the final. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is what to expect at Apple's upcoming Unleashed event on October 18th. Don't forget, I will be going live here on the channel to react to all of the new products. So make sure to stay tuned and turn those notifications on so you don't miss when I go live. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe because I will be getting whatever Apple announces and covering it here on the channel. But also let me know in a comment down below what you guys are most excited for from this event. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.